right, everybody. We're back in the Jeep garage, and we're at it again with another episode of Product Reviews. I'm here with Brad Evans, and I'm Brian Derry, and we've got another type of unique item this time from Rhino USA, your leader in superior power sports accessories. Brad, go ahead and tell everybody about your lunchbox here. <laughs> well, it's not my lunchbox, Brian, although it would make a good one. This bag is really nice. Actually, Brian, what we got here is something a little bit different from Rhino USA, unlike the uh, normal things you're used to seeing from them, recovery gear, tie-down equipment. So this is actually going to be a rooftop cargo bag. So if you got a car, truck, SUV, and you run out of space inside, this offers a lot of extra room on the top of your vehicle, and you can store stuff in there. And uh, I think we ought to open this up, Brian, and show the people what they're getting. Yeah, let's do it. All right. So for starters, you're going to get a real sweet bag here. Now, these bags, just like all the bags that they put their gear in, are really good, and they're going to hold up. So you're going to get the actual bag itself, the rooftop cargo bag. You're going to get six of their strap that will, we'll show you how that works, but that's actually going to be how we tie the bag down. And they also offer up a quick little combination lock that we'll talk about how to keep everything locked down and safe. Yeah, so what we'll do is we'll, uh, we'll cut the camera here in a second and we'll go over there and we'll set this up on top of the car and uh, it opens up pretty damn big. Yeah, it's uh, pretty nice. So a little info about this bag. You're gonna get about 17.7, so almost 18 cubic feet of storage out of this bag. And it's made from a 1680D material, Brian. So that's actually a type of ballistic material that the military does use. And it's really uh, tough and durable for abrasions and things hitting it on the road. So you ain't gonna worry about your stuff being in the bag, getting cut open by debris on the highway, and then ruining your contents inside. So that's a really awesome feature there. And these zippers, we're going to show you, they actually have a overlap kind of deal where it keeps all the weather off the zipper, period. So let's go take this over to the car and open it up. All right, all right everybody. So you see we went ahead and laid the bag out here on top of the car. Now, if you take a look, you'll notice in the front and in the rear, there's the logo. And that's how you'll know where the front and rear goes. So once you get the bag laid out, you're not going to do your straps just yet. So you're going to unzip the bag and the bag will fold frontwards like this, allowing you to put your contents inside. So we're going to go ahead and put our stuff in here for the trip and then we're going to show you how to strap it down. So we went ahead and loaded up our contents inside the bag and there's, we have a lot of stuff in here and there's still tons of room here. So these, this thing has a lot of space. So what you're going to do, like I said, every car and vehicle is going to be different, but in this case, we're going to be using our three straps and I've already pulled these underneath. So you're just going to take your strap, loop it underneath your rack, and then you're going to bring it back up and buckle it in. And then what's really cool is they have these, first once you get your slack, they have these awesome already stitched on the end straps with Velcro. So when you get your slack, you can actually take these and Velcro the rest of the slack of the strap and they're on all of them. Awesome feature. So we're gonna go ahead and finish getting this button down and uh, hit the road. So before we get on the road, the heavy duty zipper that they got in here is awesome. And these are sealed up. And then they also have, I'd say there's about six inches worth of overhang here over the zipper to keep all the elements out. Now, like I said, for the front, even though we don't have a crossbar going on this rack, what we're going to do is it's still going to provide support for the cargo bag itself. So we're still going to strap these up. and give them a nice snug, and then we're gonna loop these up, strap them up with these awesome integrated little straps here, and we think we're good to go. 
All right, now that we got our bag and it's actually secure for the way that we're gonna do it, we are gonna show you how to use the supplied six door jam straps. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna undo this one. Now, every car is gonna have a door jam seal. So you're gonna peel the door jam seal back and it's gonna expose this ledge right here. This will grab on and now you have a solid point to mount the strap to. Now once you got this on, you're just gonna feed your door jam seal back on, just like that. And then we're gonna go and run the strap to the bag through this supplied loop. And then you run it back up now, cinch it down, and this is a awesome, perfect way to strap down the bag if you don't have a roof rack. Now, lastly, they supply you with a lock. So you're gonna come over here, with the two zippers, you're gonna put them together. They've got two loops and they kind of intertwine together and that will allow you to drop the pin of the lock through the two zippers. And then you, Got a lock on your zipper. Set your code, lock it, and you're good to go. That's it again, another product review video from products by Rhino USA. When you use their products, you can worry less and you can adventure more. Brad, tell everybody where they can buy their products from. Guys, if you like these products or any of the other products you've seen us review, visit rhinousainc.com because like Brian says, they are your leader in superior power sports accessories. And don't forget, all these products come with a lifetime guarantee and warranty. So that's always something to keep in mind when you're buying products. Awesome. Until next time, I'm Brian, this is Brad. See you on the trails.